I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. With a good length of meese gut, that bow's like new again. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Some folks showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Slippery little devils. Cuts all of them down soon enough. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and ripe. <laughs> Thank you. 
folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Thinks twice about risking his eye for him. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security is all fired up. Quick and careful is the only way to go. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Sky bridges link the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, Who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. to ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut-eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. In all 
his toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. He don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone like him. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop no matter what. Got so many questions after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy. Didn't make it. <laughs> the Jawsons. They didn't make it. Grady Sr. Grady Jr. They didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. 
We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. <laughs>